Hello everyone and welcome back to The Forge. Now today we're going to be working on a super easy steak turner. This is probably one of the easiest designs you can make. We're going to be taking this 28 inch piece of quarter inch round stock here. We're going to measure 14 inches to, uh, to the middle. We're going to mark it with a soapstone. We're going to bend it around, put it in the vise, twist it up. It's probably best if I just show you and quit yapping. Let's get it tossed in the forge and get to work. You see our soapstone mark there? We're just going to start bending it over here. I'm working it on the radius edge of my anvil so it don't cut any marks into the steel. There we go. Let's hammer this flat. I'm going to go ahead and bend it over the rest of the way and then we're ready to start the twist on it. Alright, I'm going to take this piece of 3 8 round stock right here. We're just going to hammer this around it to help form an eye. We'll put it in a spinal positioning here in just a little bit. Alright. Something kind of like that right there. And next we'll go over to the vise and twist it up. Alright, now when you come to the vise, you want a lot enough just to go ahead and make sure that you can make the, the, the forks of the, the steak turner. So we're going to go about like with that right there. Okay, and then we can start twisting it. It'll probably take a couple of heats as thin as the steel is because it cools down super fast. Back in there for one more. Basically, just twist it up to the point that you like the way that it looks. I think that looks half bad right there. We'll get it back in the forge, we'll come down and we'll work on our on our forks. Alright, we're going to come in here we're going to bend these out like in a T formation. And that way we can forge out the ends, the tapers on the end of each one. Something like that right there is what we're looking for. We'll come back in, hammer these ends out, go to the horn of the end, we'll bend them over, have our fork done. Pretty much have it all wrapped up. Alright, looks like our fork portion measures about four inches, so I'm going to come over here on the face of the anvil, mark out four inches, so when I forge this one out, I can just hold it up and make sure I got the length right. Alright, we got both of our fork ends forged out. We're going to bend them back down, go to the horn of the anvil. little bit of a curve into these. Nothing major. Gentle taps. Overall it looks pretty good at this point. I'm going to go ahead and dunk it in the bucket so I can give it a final look and see if it's good to go. There you have it.
our steak fork, carving fork, whatever you want to call it. Super quick, super easy project. Great project for beginners. We're learning hammer control and everything. Great way to make some extra cash when you're first starting out. Like I said, not much to it. It's bending a piece of metal, twisting it, and forging the ends. I appreciate you for joining us today. If you would, hit that subscribe button. Remember to ring the notification bell to stay up to date on our newest content when it posts. And like I said, I appreciate you very much. You have a good one. Bye-bye.